Praise the Lord, everybody. I welcome you to this hour of teaching and prayer. And our topic is prayer for dealing with bad dreams and evil prophecies. We started this teaching last week, and this is our third session of the teaching. I welcome every one of you, Christina. Are you any good? God bless you. You are welcome. Abe Sholuade, you are welcome. Mercy Nam Dibenga Shoumi, you are welcome. Ruth Ola Olaide Ade Jumo, you are welcome. In Jesus and Lady B, you are welcome. Pastor Tunji, you are welcome. Gloria Owe, you are welcome. Ruth Olaide Ade Jumo, you are welcome. Good afternoon, everybody. And I want to use this opportunity to thank every one of you that turned up this past weekend to support and to help celebrate my 60th birthday. May the Lord bless you richly. And those of you that could not come, may send your greetings through the media and through the mail. Those of you that send presents, I want to appreciate God for your life. And I thank God for your life. May the Lord in his infinite mercy bless you richly and reward you for all your gifts. The Bible says, whoever gives any of my profit, even a cup of water will not go without a reward. You will receive a prophet's reward. I decree and declare over your life, every one of you that have been a blessing to my life in one way or the other, may the Lord that has called me bless you richly in the name of Jesus. I want to thank the CTM family. I thank my wife, my family, and uh, all those of you that are friends, even old friends that I have not seen for a long time, that showed up. May the Lord bless you richly. You continue to soar from one level of glory to another. Nothing shall be able to bring you down in Jesus' name. I appreciate every one of you. Amen. This uh, teaching that we're doing today is something that I'll be doing every week by the grace of God, as God permits. Amen. Um, today, I want to go into the scripture that says that your young men shall dream dreams. Hallelujah. Because dream is a window. It's a window that God has given to us to be able to... Uh, to eyes drop into the spirit realm. It is a window that God himself gave to man to be able to eyes drop or eyes drop into the spirit realm. Many a times we find out, many a times we find out that we have dreams we don't remember or we have dreams we don't know the meaning or we have dreams we are tormented by it. Uh, as I was speaking yesterday, that dreams can come to you in four different platforms. Your environment can cook a dream in your life because of where you live, because of your, because of territorial spirits or whatever is happening in your environment. So it can cause you to dream a dream. Likewise, number two, you can also have a dream because of what you are personally going through. In other words, the dream that you yourself, your emotion causes you to dream. And another platform whereby dreams can come to you is through the demonic kingdom, through the, the, the evil kingdom, which the devil makes you to dream or torments you with. And the fourth platform, which is the one that comes directly from God. We have to understand that God created man and he gave him the ability to peep into the spirit realm. To be able to function and also receive messages from him. But you know that whatever God does, the devil uh, likes to counterfeit whatever God does. So, he has also devised means to come into people's dreams and to attack them or to project things. 
So our prayer this afternoon is to pull down the negative energy that have been projected into your life through dreams. And to cut those dreams down and make sure that they do not function. Another thing that I want to talk to you about dealing with evil prophecies. If somebody prophesy into your life and that prophecy is not from God, it's an evil prophecy and if you don't do something about it, it will come to pass. Because words are very powerful. In your tongue lies life and death. And the fruits that you allow to germinate or the seed you allow to germinate in your life becomes a fruit. So it is very, very important that you know this and that you deal with dreams as they come. The ones that are good, you obtain, you, are, you accept them and you also retain them and you pray them to come to pass. And the ones that you know are not good, you are supposed to cancel them immediately. And I pray for you, if you are being tormented by one dream or the other, I pray that that dream be canceled now Patricia in the mighty name Patricia of Jesus. Aladico, or one other. I pray that that dream be canceled now in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Dear beloved, the Bible tells us that the Lord our God will cause us to dream dreams. And why will the Lord cause you to dream dreams? The reason why God wants you to dream dreams is because it's a medium whereby he spoke to the patriarchs. He spoke to Abraham through a dream. He spoke to, he spoke to, uh, to Isaac through dreams. He spoke to, to Jacob through dreams. And I pray in the name of Jesus that the Lord in his infinite mercy we open the channel of dream to his own platform in your life and every other dream that is coming into your life from demonic kingdom be cancelled in the name of jesus christ the enemy wants you the enemy wants to keep you down he wants to manipulate your destiny so that you cannot fulfill destiny in god's time but i pray for you today in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, that every channel that the enemies have opened into your life be shut down in the name of Jesus Christ. That everything you set your hands to do shall prosper according to the will of God for your life in the name of Jesus Christ. Now, through dreams, enemy also defiles. Enemy can visit uh, a person in a dream and defile their lives. And when they wake up from that dream and they do not design the dream or remember so that they can cancel it, they begin to move around with the spirit of defilement. Many people have dreamt of having immoral acts in their dreams. And they wake up, they don't do anything about it. Beloved, you are given power to neutralize the effect of soul dreams through the blood of Jesus Christ and cut them down so that they will not manifest in your life. So this hour of, of teaching and prayer is to help you, is to help you to discern and to help you to cancel every negative thing from the pits of hell. Hallelujah. Glory be to God in the highest. Do you know that it was through dream that God was able to define the destiny of, of, of Joseph to him. He told him exactly how his life was going to play out. And because he was given the gift to discern the dream and to have an understanding of what God is saying, he was able to keep his head above the waters when the temptation came. He knew he was destined for greatness. He knew. So everywhere he found himself, he knew that was not his last bus stop. He did not allow that to take, to take him off his keel. He knew he was heading somewhere great. 
So that dream gave him faith. How did he develop faith? Because he, he has already seen where he was going. Paul the Apostle said, because of the crown that is set before me, I endure all things. When you know where you are going, it helps to build up your faith. When the enemy wants to distract, distract you, you keep your eyes on the prize because you know where you are going. You are not confused about your destiny, no matter what people say about you. You know you are destined for greatness. So you don't allow what the devil is saying or what people are saying to shake you or to pin you down because you know you are wired for greatness. Hallelujah. There is nothing as deadly and uh, disturbing as a man that does not have bearing for his life. A man that does not know where he's going, that does not know what lies ahead, that lives life just by the day without no vision, without no plan, without thinking this is what I am wired to do, this is what I must become. It's a very, if you are a friend with such a man, is a dangerous friend. Because by, by association, you can get looped into certain things that will not help you in the journey of your life. That is why you must be very careful to choose your friend. Not everybody can be your friend. Some may just be acquaintances. You have to be very careful. You cannot rise above, you know, above, above your closest five friends, your closest five friends. When you number your friends, you number five of them, the closest five friends. If you are going to rise, you will be in the average of those five friends. So watch what you do with your environment. Watch the kind of people that you are very close to and watch how the pattern of their lives. If they are not shooting for, for higher heights, then you don't need to bring them too close. Make them acquaintances, but not close bosoms, close bosom friends, because they can influence your life. Enemy can penetrate through them. So you must have a bearing as to where you are going, and that is why God has given us the window of dreams. The enemy comes to pollute your dream world. It is your responsibility to take authority over your dream world. The devil, you are not permitted in my dream world. And whatever he brings into your dream, you cancel it immediately when you wake up. And any dream from the devil will always bring torment. The dream from God will never torment you. It will bring you peace. So when you have a dream and you've been tormented, it's from the pits of hell, and you need to nullify it. In, uh, in, uh, in Job chapter 5, verse number 12, he says it disappoints the devices of the crafty so that their hands cannot perform their enterprise. It is the act, it is the work of the devil to devise evil things. That is why you call him the devil. He devises evil and he wants to carry it out if you allow him. But God has wired, wired you to deal with him and to put him under your feet where he belongs. If you have given your life to Jesus. Now whatever he projects into your life through dreams, you need to cancel it and make sure it never comes to pass. Now, let us quickly talk about evil prophecy. Prophecies are, they are words that are either loaded with God's vibration, which is a positive vibration, or a negative vibration, which is the demonic vibration. In other words, these are words that are spirits, that when they are pronounced over your life, they find them, their rhythm to make sure that all the elemental forces they cooperate to bring them to pass. When a prophetic release went over 
Samaria, that by this time tomorrow, there shall be surplusity in the gates of Samaria. Immediately, the, the man of God in 2 Kings chapter number 6 and chapter number 7, immediately he declared that word. The, even the king, he baffled the king. The king's lieutenant said, can this thing be? Now, because if you look at the weather, if you look at what surrounded them, look at the climate, the climate, look at things, look at just the situation of things. That this, this nation has gone through so much pain. They have gone through more, so much torture. The famine was so severe that they began to kill their children for breakfast and for lunch. And a man of God opened his mouth to say, by this time tomorrow, there shall be surplusity in the gates of Samaria. It was difficult for them to understand what he was saying. But immediately he spoke. The prophetic word went into action, mobilizing all the elemental forces to begin to walk. Now, immediately he spoke. There were lepers outside the city that God used to decide, you know what? Let us go to the camp of the Syria of the Assyrians. And see if we go there, if they capture us, we die. If they don't capture us, I think we will have something to eat rather than for us to die here. It was the prophetic word that mobilized that. And as the prophetic one went out, God sent a sound from heaven and caused all and caused all the army of all the soldiers of the Syria of the Assyrians to hear such a mighty noise like sounds of chariots, and they took off running. This was a prophetic word that carries the unction of God that went to play and began to mobilize uh, 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 forces, elemental forces, to work together to bring about exactly what the man of God said. And as you have it, the rest of the story, you are very aware of it. You find out that the, the family was terminated because there was surplusity at the gate of Samaria as the Lord spoke through his prophet. Now, the same, the same lieutenant, the king's lieutenant that tried to analyze God, God paralyzed and died. They might him all because the man of God also prophesied over his life. I say, you know what? Because you have doubted the word of God, you will see this miracle with your own eyes, but you will not eat it. If he has apologized and said, man of God, I am sorry, please pray for me, and he cancels it, the dream that the, the prophetic declaration will have been canceled over his life, but the man of God will have also canceled that prophetic declaration that, okay, now that you believe, I reverse that prophetic declaration over your life. So prophetic declaration, they carry weight. They are very powerful. They can be for good. They can be for, for evil. So when somebody that has laced their tongues with poison and they declare a word over your life and you refuse to cut it down, you allow it to stand, it will play out in your life. You will have yourself to be blamed. Not God. Because when they release it, God has equipped you to cut it down. He said, no weapon fashioned against you shall prosper. And every tongue that rises up against you in judgment, thou shalt condemn. He didn't say, he didn't say I, God, will condemn it. He said, you yourself, you yourself, thou shalt condemn. Read your scripture properly. Thou shalt condemn. You are the one that's supposed to cut it down. That I reverse it is not my portion. I counsel it is not my portion. It is your responsibility to cut it down. Live and dead is in your tongue. The power to bring life, the power to bring death is in your tongue. And they will bear fruits. 
and you will eat the fruit thereof. Because it is what you permit to stay that will stay. What you disallow will be disallowed on your behalf. So my dear brothers and sisters, we are talking about praying, praying against bad dreams and evil prophecies. Praying against bad dreams and evil prophecies. So I want to go into prayer with you now. I want us to pray and cancel every evil dream that has been tormenting your life. I want you to take authority over that situation that has so much weighed you down that even prayer you cannot pray. I want to agree with you right now that every evil dream from the pits of hell that is meant to bring you down, to destroy your destiny, to manipulate your life, other than what God has planned for your life, that, that's, that such a dream be cancelled in the name of Jesus. And every evil prophetic word contrary to God that was released over your life or have been released over your life be pulled down. The weapon of your the weapon of your warfare is not a carnal weapon, they are spiritual. And you must use them to pull down every evil imagination that is against the will of God for your life. You must not allow those evil imagination to stand. It is your responsibility to pull them down. We're going to go into prayer right now, my dear brothers and sisters. And I know through these prayers, God will deliver somebody here. If you are that person, please, I want you to type three hallelujah, one for the Father, one for the Son, and one for the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Let us pray. Incredible God of the universe, we just want to thank you that you have wired us to cancel every evil dream and every evil prophecy that the enemy have released over our lives. Even now as we go into prayer, we ask Lord Jesus that every dream that is playing itself out that is not of you in the lives of your people be totally cancelled by your blood in the name of Jesus. That the demons that are sent to supervise these dreams to make sure they are carried out be bound in the name of Jesus and cast into the lake of fire. I join my faith with your children according to your word in Matthew 18, 19, that if two shall agree on earth as touching a thing, it shall be done for us by our Father in heaven. Even now, Lord, I join faith with my brother, I join faith with my sister to declare that evil dreams shall not stand in your life. To declare that evil prophecies shall not stand in your life. We nullify them by the blood of Jesus. It shall not be carried out in the name of Jesus. Every foul spirit sent against the lives of your people. You have told us that whatever we bind on earth will be bound in heaven and whatever we lose on earth will be loosed in heaven. Even now, I bind such foul spirits and I cast them into the lake of fire. I free your people from, from, from a dream torment in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, faithful Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Glory be to God in the highest. Glory be to God in the highest. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. We give the Lord praise. My dear brothers and sisters, please don't forget our Yoruba, our, we have three more minutes. Our Yoruba our service is gonna start tonight at 7 p.m. from 7 p.m. to 8.30 p.m. You can join me at Christ Strong Ministries 
Our address is 2505 Lord Baltimore Drive in Windsor Mill, Maryland, in the United States of America. Hallelujah. Christ on Ministries. 2505 Lord Baltimore Drive, Swith and G in Windsor Mill, Maryland, 21244. Hallelujah. And if you need to call, you can call 443 253 4990. And people will be able to also direct you there. I also want to use this opportunity to tell you about the Resurrection Reviver that is going to be starting from tomorrow, Thursday, April the 11th through Sunday, April 14th at our church in D.C., Christ Apostolic Church, Wilson, D.C. And the address is 2130 24th Place, Northeast Washington, D.C. 20018 is the zip code. Hallelujah. It's at 7 p.m. every day, 7 to 9 p.m. every day, except the Sunday morning that starts at 11 a.m. in the morning. Please make sure you participate. The theme is divine healing. You know anybody that needs healing, please bring them know anybody that needs healing in their spirit, soul, and body, please bring them. Divine healing is the topic. It's going to be April the 11th, which is tomorrow, 7 p.m. to 9 p.m. April 12th, which is Friday, 7 p.m. to 9 p.m. April 13th, which is uh, Saturday, uh, 7 p.m. to 9 p.m and uh, April 14th, which is Sunday, which is Palm Sunday, and that will be from 11 a.m. Hallelujah. You are welcome to attend, and if you need information, other information, you can call 202-526-2050. 202-526-2050. Or you can also call 347-446-8629 347-446-8629 Please, you can also visit our website Christstrone.org Christstrone.org and partner with us with what God is doing. Hallelujah. I want to pray with you. If you have prayer requests, please send it in. Those of you that want to participate in the English Yoruba service, it starts this Wednesday. It's going to be every Wednesday from 7 p.m. to 8.30 p.m. prompt. 7 p.m. to 8.30 p.m. prompt. If you can pray, you will always win. If you can pray, there is a God in heaven that answers prayer. You need not stand alone in what you are going through. We want to pray with you. We want to help you to, to excel in every area of your life. Good things need prayer. The bad things need prayer. If things are good for you, you need, you need them to be better. You need them to be better. So prayers will make it better. If they are better for you, you need them to be excellent. Prayer will make them excellent. Hallelujah. And if you are going through one challenge or the other, Rather than just close yourself up and go into deep depression, there are uh, counselors that are going to help you through your wilderness experience and you will come back better on the other side. I love you guys. Keep on winning in Jesus' mighty name. I am your humble servant, Apostle Dr. Anthony Aladikoba. Apostle Dr. Anthony Allah the cover. May God bless you and those of you that participated in uh, celebrating my 60th birthday. May the Lord bless you richly, richly and richly in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. 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 
Hallelujah. Glory be to God in the highest.